I'm going to do a body and a tail with a big fin and a smiley face. Yeah, uh, we're, we're an industry of trends. Uh, I think that stuff is really cool, and I think there's tons of games that can be made, obviously, with alternative uh, controllers, whether it's Nintendo or the PlayStation Motion Wand or, or, or the Wii. And you can do a lot of cool things because it's nice to add that like physicality and the actual like third dimension into what's still very a 2D you know, interface between the player and the screen. I think that we are not at risk of losing the controller uh, probably ever until we get a holodeck because at a certain point uh, a higher fidelity game experience requires much more complex controls and there's no way anyone's going to spend two hours of waving their fingers in the air for that. So I think we'll see a lot of hybrids where you'll have aspects of a game make use of the motion or, or camera based things but still require control. Fable is a controller based game definitely but we as a studio are working on you know and looking at Natal based stuff me as a designer loves the idea of using Natal in Fable I can't say any more than that all I can say is personally I find it fascinating this new controller and motion control in general people have thought are more of a casual experience I think you'll always have a controller in first person shooter games and it's really hard to kind of move past that it's it works so well especially mouse and keyboard and, and, and on the PC. But I, I've seen things where you put something on your head like for movement, so when you look around, you're controlling the, the, where you're looking within the game. And that, that really makes for an interesting uh, way of controlling the game and, and really making the game kind of come to life even more. God, I'm super open for like new um, technology and, and being creative in the gameplay, but it's always hard because I'm, I don't know, I'm a big fan of like letting it come out and then seeing like what we could do with it later, you know what I mean? Because I don't know, I, I always think that sometimes if you go too far, it's too, you know, advanced. It hasn't been totally dialed in. So what are we doing? Do I have to stand at the edge? I think what's excited that doesn't get a lot of attention is the, the camera-based systems, particularly uh, the Natal, give the game, they give us as developers uh, an interface to the player that we've never had before. We can do things like check body language, check posture, you know, are they sitting upright, are they starting to slack off, and then have the game react. So being Capcom, we'll say like imagine a Resident Evil where if someone's starting to nod off, then we bust the zombies through the windows, and so, you know, it's this whole sensory thing that we've never had, a window into the player's sort of, you know, mental state, or, you know, with the Wii, the biometrics, that we can then, you know, tune and tweak and really customize an experience that way. That, to me, is, like, super exciting, because it's like, now we can...